Hello, good morning. I hope you guys are keeping well. Uh, so today we are going to do the concluding part of the poem, Fire and Ice. Let me read out the poem. It says, but if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. So as I told you yesterday that the po the, the, the poem is dedicated to one of the true strongest emotions, human emotions that we uh, usually struggle to um, come over you know, as human beings in our entire lifespan, which, is, uh, which has been um, symbolized or compared with uh, two um, strong um, components of nature, fire, and ice and as in the first stanza the poet was trying to robert frost he was trying to say that <clears throat> as different people have different opinions about how this world is going to end and one of the um, uh, schools of thought they say that the earth will end uh, by uh, by by fire when everything will burn it will perish which is a very quick process you know the uh, and the other school of thought says that the earl earth will end in ice so in both scenarios what we can see is that the poet is trying to um, talk about the end of the world when we are looking at this poem in a in a literal way it is not uh, talking directly about what it is trying to say it is trying to compare situations and things so that uh, he can highlight the the main reason why he has written this poem <clears throat> if it had to perish twice, uh, even I think we can understand that the, the earth cannot perish means finishing completely. The earth cannot finish twice, two times. It has to finish. If it will finish, it will finish in air, whatever the reason is, but it, it will finish in the first go. So the poet is trying to say that if I had to compare and say that the world will uh, will, will finish with fire, which he has compared with, and what he's trying to say is this, which he has compared with one of the strongest emotions, human emotions, called desire, as I, what I explained yesterday. The, uh, the never-ending uh, wish, the never-ending wish list, I should say, the never-ending want to have more and more. The desire is the want, the eagerness to, to achieve more or to have more when you're not satisfied with whatever you have. And the never-ending uh, list goes on and on and on. So what does that emotion do, basically, is that it is, uh, if you have no control over this uh, emotion called desire, which is very, very difficult to control as human beings, and uh, but some people are very lucky to, to control over it, so the poet is trying to say that if we have no, as human beings, if we have no control over this strong emotion called desire, uh, human beings are, uh, which is equal to self-destruction. You can end up destructing and destroying yourself because to in order to achieve um, your goal about what you want and what you intend to uh, have uh, in your life, you can go to uh, greater extents and some extents can be very, very dangerous as well. I hope you understand and agree with that. So, um, if we have no control over our emotions, which is desire, which has been compared with fire, it is going to destruct us. It is going to destroy destroy human human beings. It is going to destroy us completely. Our life will be ruined because of our endless desire, because of our endless uh, greed, because of our endless lust to have more and more and more. <clears throat> so that is how we will be finished, we will be perished, and which is a very quick process, you know, because uh, mm, uh, the, the want and desire will not finish, and then you will end up destroying yourself. So the self-destructing destructing process of human beings uh, with this never-ending uh, desire has been directly compared with fire. And the other thing, like how the world will also, if the temperature of the, of the earth will rise up so high that it will actually burn and finish everything. That is how human beings will, uh, will end up destruct. And they do 
destroy themselves with their never-ending want. The other aspect is ice, where the poet is trying to say that the temperature of the if the temperature of the earth will dip so low that it will freeze and it will finish everything. And the poet has compared that strong emotion with hatred, which is also a very, very strong component, a strong uh, human emotion for self-destruction. If it had to perish twice, you know, so it was if the world had to finish two times, twice, I think I know enough of hate. So the poet is trying to say that I know enough of hatred. You know, when you have negative thoughts and when you do not have any soft emotions, love, compassion, uh, you don't feel about something, you don't feel about a situation, you don't um, feel about a human being, um, that is the point, that is the point when you um, have, uh, uh, you know, you know, killed yourself as a human being. A human being without a heart, heart doesn't mean physically, heart means a heart which has no emotions, is, is as good as a dead person. I hope you agree with that. So in this situation, Robert Frost is trying to say that if you have given hatred, a lot of freedom to to uh, to grow in your heart. You will be as cold as ice. You know, ice as it freezes everything. In the same way, when you start uh, feeling uh, hate or hatred in your in your mind, in your brain, you know, that is the time when you are closing all the doors to um, for love, for kindness, for gentleness, for being good and all the negativity starts arising around yourself and as compared to fire which is a very quick process and it can actually end up destroying human beings uh, we as humans you know self-destructing um, uh, rapid process i should say it's a very quick process we can finish up by by doing anything which can destroy us but in this situation where hatred grows, hatred grows very, very slowly in human beings. You must have experienced that. Is that when you have a negative feeling about someone, you feel there's a lot of negativity around you. And when that person, although, you know, that person may or may not have um, affected your, your life um, in a negative way, but uh, you are definitely affected. By that person because you are growing a lot of negativity uh, and basically you are killing yourself internally which happens very very slowly but it ends up in the same uh, uh, way as um, as fire does as desire does to human beings so the poet is trying to say that i have a lot of experience about hatred i know what hatred can do sometimes people grow this hatred to such an extent that they end up uh, not talking to each other for for, for 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 the entire lifespan till they die sometimes this hatred can lead up to um, such an extent between two communities between two human beings they can kill each other they can go to any extent to destroy that person and all this results uh, because of uh, hatred the negative feeling to say that for destruction ice is also great and Robert Frost is trying to say that if you are asking me that uh, would you consider ice or hatred uh, for destruction for the end of the world, I would say that it is as good as 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 fire, as desire. You know, in both situations, human beings will end up destroying themselves, you know, uh, by um, growing with that negative emotion. So this is what the poet is trying to say that as in the first scenario where ice where fire can destroy everyone in the same situation desire can also uh, sorry uh, hatred can also end up destroying yourself hatred can also end up in 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 self destruction the uh, but although uh, the first situation where fire and desire or desire will you eat you up uh, very quickly in the second situation ice or hatred which will grow in your heart uh, will will eat you gradually, but in both situations it will end up in self-destruction. So, uh, in the concluding part, the board is trying to say, <clears throat> 
that um, to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. So Robert Frost is trying to ask is that if you are asking my opinion about how this world is going to end, then as uh, fire is going to burn and end uh, this world abruptly or quickly, rapidly, very fastly, in the same way, ice is also going to end up in destructing uh, the world. The only difference is that uh, fire will eat up or, or finish this world very quickly and ice will uh, do a very gradual process. It will be a very slow process, but destruction is for sure. So he's trying to say that in both situations, if you're asking me, ice is also doing the same thing as, as fire. Desire, human desire, which is what the boat is trying to portray or explain in this situation by comparing it with, uh, with uh, two uh, components of nature, which is fire and ice. Uh, desire and hatred are also going to... Um, so um, I hope you understand with this poem is that uh, what Robert Frost is trying to say that it's a symbolic poem. Symbolic means when uh, the poet is when a poet is trying to symbolize or or portray um, a message by comparing it with uh, with uh, with something else. So whatever the poet is, has explained uh, in this poem is not uh, has not to be taken in a literal way in a direct way. We are not talking about fire and ice in this situation, but uh, more importantly, the Robert Frost is trying to um, explain uh, and talk about one of the strongest human emotions that we as human beings are struggling every single day, uh, which is um, desire and hatred. It is one of the strongest and most uh, negative emotions, I should say. But um, at the same time, it's a it's a struggle that we are facing, and if uh, we have if we have no control over this uh, over this uh, emotion, then it will end up in self destruction. Like how I said that, why he has compared these two uh, emotions with uh, comp two components of nature is because they have the same characteristics as fire can actually burn and finish everything in the same way desire can also finish human beings uh, by because we are uh, destroying ourselves you know it's a self destroying process where if we have no control over our limit our desire our want our wish list it can end up in eating ourselves very quickly at the same time if we slowly start growing this negative emotion called hatred and hate and when you are insensitive or cold towards somebody or some situation when you don't feel kindness when you don't feel love in your heart that is a time when you have grown a very very strong uh, emotion called hatred which can eat you up it can basically if you're talking about it in a very scientific way is that you know uh, anger and hatred is basically it it eats up your uh, your own self uh, it affects your health it burns your blood and calories you know if you are uh, growing this emotion in your heart so that is what uh, uh, robert frost is trying to say that in both situations um, fire is also as good as ice and ice is also as good as fire for uh, destroying human beings i hope you have understood this poem if you have if you still have doubts please let me know send a message on the class group and then i'll explain um so let's just go to uh, the question answers before that you will have to write a summary a beautiful summary summary is a uh, summary writing is something where you will have to write a summary basically i want to understand what you uh, what you think about this poem and what you have understood. So summary writing is something which will um, come uh, as, as assignments. So we'll go to assignments now.